Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the joys of glitter felt. My name is Charlotte Allen and you've reached my channel, The Felting Alchemist. So today I want to talk about this stuff, glitter felt, and all the wonderful things you can do with it and what I use it for when I'm making my felted sculptures. So let's take a look at how we can use this really awesome material. Now my favourite thing to do with this stuff is to use it to make crowns for my needle felted creatures and I've got my, my victim here today who is the needle felted rabbit head that we made in a previous tutorial a few weeks ago. So what I really like about this stuff is it's got a flexibility to it but it's also got a rigidity to it as well so if you're going to say post it internationally or something like that it really holds its form in the post so I really like it for that reason and also I just love the fact that it's absolutely covered in glitter. I'm properly channeling my inner Princess Poppy here because it's uh, it's looking pretty awesome. So this is how I use it. So I'm going to make a crown, but you can do all sorts of things with it. I've used it for the centre of flowers before, so I've cut out like a felt flower using felt material, and then I put a little bit of gold in the centre to make the centre of the flower. Um, you could do things like you could make necklaces with it. Um, if you were going to do like a choker on something, you could make stars with it. You can do all sorts of things. You're only held back by your own imagination, really so whatever you can imagine you can do with this stuff it's really good the only thing you can't do with it is felt it so it's much more of a treat it like so I would treat this like a card so if you've got like a nice firm solid card that you're going to use in crafting this is the same kind of thing but you can't put a needle through it or anything like that so I'm going to make a crown with this. So what you can see here is there's two sides to this. You've got the beautiful glitter side that is just oh, lovely. And then you've got the other side, which is your kind of felt side, which is kind of just like a brown colour. But it might come in a slightly different colour compared to the one that I've got here. I've bought this on eBay, but you can buy them in loads of different craft shops. So just have a little look around and you'll find loads of places you can get them. And it's not cheap cheap but it's not overly expensive having said that with the rises in cost of living it may have gone up a little bit but certainly when i bought it it was about two pound fifty for a sheet so you want to be relatively frugal with it and you want to know what you're doing with it i would practice on a bit of card first or make a template with a card and then and then put it onto your your glitter felt rather than kind of experimenting with it because when you kind of like experiment and things go wrong two pound fifties can add up and it can get quite quite dear if you make loads of mistakes so i practice first on something else so i'm going to flip it it. so the glitter side is down and in true blue peter fashion here's one i made earlier so this is the template i've made for my crown and i've just done this freehand so i can show you today so you may want to spend a bit more time on it getting it looking a bit more symmetrical and less less wonky donkey like i've made mine here so i'm just going to pop it onto my felt material take a pencil and then i'm going to just draw around my template so don't push too hard with your pencil when you do this, just press quite lightly so you've got that outline so you know where you need to cut. But we're actually going to try and cut past the pencil line so that actually you can't see it once it's all cut out and we stick it into position. So I'm just going to keep going. So there we go, so there's my crown all drawn out with the pencil. So now I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to use my embroidery scissors to cut it out. You could use normal scissors if you want to, but I like my embroidery scissors because they're nice and sharp so I get a nice clean line. Whereas if I was to use stationary scissors or craft scissors, you might not get the same finish. But certainly um, sewing scissors, material scissors would work really well as well. I just like the fact that my embroidery scissors are nice and, and nice and tiny so I can really get into all the nooks and crannies when I'm cutting those angles. So I've got my crown here now all cut out and what I'm going to do next is join the ends together and stick them together and what I like to do is find where the where the angles match and then stick them there so it just looks nice and neat when it's all finished. Now we come to the subject of glue. What glue works best with this stuff? Now I've tried super glue and bizarrely it doesn't stick it. For whatever reason, super glue does not like this, this particular material and it won't stick it down. So I've moved away from super glue and I've discovered that glue gun glue works really well. So a good hot glue gun will stick it together really nicely. But I've also discovered, thanks to my father-in-law, this stuff. So this is impact glue and this sticks pretty much anything. And he uses it all the time on all sorts of stuff, metal, wood, all kinds of stuff. But it works really well on this glitter felt material too. So I'm gonna use it today to stick this together. So you don't need very much and I'm just gonna put a little bit just on the edge here where I'm going to fold it over onto the glitter and because it's a new tube it does that classic thing where it all kind of comes more comes out than you actually want it to but you don't need very much so don't feel tempted to put too much on because you'll regret it and it will spill over and it's 
it's not something that looks very attractive when it goes over the sides because it's quite yellow you want to be quite cautious with how much you use so it's help if I put the lid on the right way around then I'm just going to flip over the sides and I'm just going to stick that down and I'm just going to hold it in place for about a minute or two just to get that bond there. What you could do is you could get a couple of pegs and just peg it together so you haven't got to physically hold it with your fingers so you can go off and do other stuff and then come back to it about 10 minutes later and it should all be really nicely firmly stuck down. So I'm just going to give it a little squeeze round. So the crown's all stuck together nicely now. It's nicely bonded and it's not going anywhere. So I'm now gonna add it to my rabbit's head. And rather than going conventional and going straight into the middle, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my crown on a bit of an angle. And I always think of there was, I think it was Return to Oz and the Scarecrow, there's a picture of the Scarecrow in Return to Oz, like a portrait of him. And he's kind of got his crown on an angle. And I always thought that looked quite cool and quite quirky. So I'm gonna do something similar with this. So I'm gonna have his crown on a bit of an angle like this. So I'm gonna take some more of my impact glue and I'm just gonna be quite cautious now. I'm not gonna to use too much because I don't want it to show up loads on my wall. So I'm just gonna go around really carefully and put a really, really fine amount on there. Okay. And then I'm just gonna spin him around so I can see what, he's, what his face is doing, where everything is. And I'm just gonna hold it down and into place until again everything's nicely bonded together. Okay, so now that's all stuck down and as you can see, my rabbit has now got its brand new, beautiful glitter felted crown, which looks really cool. So I really hope you feel inspired by using this material because it definitely does add a bit of pizzazz and a bit of additional kind of glitter and sparkle and magic to all of your needle felted sculptures so i really love the stuff so i definitely recommend giving it a go and using it in something and just see how you get on okay so i really hope you found that useful and i really hope you feel inspired to use glitter felt now i also want to ask you if you'd like to see me produce any of my needle felted tutorials into kits so you can buy the kits ready made with all the wool in there because i know a few people have been struggling to find things like the the fox sheep wool and things like that so if i was to produce a kit which had the wool in it it had the needles in it and maybe even like a little felting mat in it would that be something people would be interested in to make specific things like say needle felted mouse or uh, um, the needle felted snail that we made before or anything like that so if you could let me know in the comments bar below that would be wonderful thank you so much for subscribing to my channel please like this video if you can because it just helps me to make more videos and i will see you tomorrow with more needle felting hints and tips see you then bye